Hey pack leaders, is here with friends right? protecting families, protecting pack. I just want to do an update on what's been going on. I've been working on the open CV class and I am done with one of the projects. So I just want to show you the object detection tracking. And then I also did this classifier thing. So let me just kind of share that with you. All right, so I have this here where I think before we were trying to track, but it was really slow. But now it'll, it'll you know, because it got blocked, but you see there's a sports ball. Whenever that pops up, that's actually AI detecting it. And then because AI is too slow for my computer, or my computer is too slow for AI, uh, you have to switch to the algorithm. And yeah, it does, does a false detection there. So once it, it tracks it, it finds it, then it, it then now it's tracking. So this uses the algorithm, so it's faster. Uh, so you use AI just to detect. You see a blue thing pop up, detecting ball. And you just use it for a brief moment to detect the ball. And after you detect ball, you use the algorithm to track the ball. And uh, that's the way it is. So it's not perfect. It's just, you know, sometimes it misses it. Because I think there's a classifier looking for a person. And it thinks it's a person too, but... It, I kind of disabled that, uh, so I was looking for a person and a ball. <laughs> uh, so it's not, so if I'll, if I'll find the ball and then you know go from there and switch back and forth. Okay. And then all the while, it takes about 300 milliseconds or about say three seconds for the uh, ball to get detected. Uh, I think that's what it is. Inference times of three 600 300 milliseconds to detect the ball. Uh, I guess the last one I was moving things around to twice that mount and so that's the code for that using YOLO v3 I guess uh, to detect that okay and then my latest one was the we're supposed to detect um, classify and kind of separate dogs uh, dogs uh, what were we separating I don't even know I guess it didn't matter because you didn't really see the picture oh yeah it was, it was a it was a, a bunch of it was 10 classes boats and frogs and whatever and they, they went into this AI and, and detected it so I got about 80, a good 80% done. What's that one? And now I'm working on another one called a monkey one. So nothing really much to look at, but I'll just try to show you anyway. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I can't really. Yep, nope, I'm not gonna show it to you. All right, so that's all I have today. Let me see what's up with my bot trading here. Okay, cool. Uh, got this running back up again. It's a little distracting when I'm programming, of course, but uh, figured why not. So, uh, one thirty three for the day. I think I started with um, one ETH. And then I got about maybe 50 bucks and I was like, you know what, let me throw some more in there. So I threw some more and I made another maybe 50 bucks there. And it's just kind of climbing up a little bit. So uh, basically this is just uh, setting the shorts only. And I have I just noticed that, well, I, we've been knowing that <laughs> when it moves, it moves for a long time, right? So once this goes, maybe give it about another week before. And I'm looking for these little sp what's it called uh spikes or wicks so there's one week here two week there and maybe a third week there you know then then it's the indicator that's gonna start to come down so i'm looking for this to kind of just wick down pretty hard come back up go sideways again wick down again and about maybe three weeks possibly four weeks before i switch too long uh, my guess on the price direct uh, price went to switch I don't know this I guess this would be this uh, the support right there at 994 uh, I think most likely it's gonna be a person like a little slightly higher it doesn't always touch it uh, from what I've learned it's either gonna break this and go further down but if not if it doesn't break it maybe 1100 is probably around the time I'm gonna switch the long and then uh, go from there so we just kind of hold out um, I think I think this is doing really well as far as like just staying one direction and it's just constantly gonna buy and sell buy and sell as long as it keeps going down we're good to go uh, it does take a five to ten percent loss if it goes against me which uh, it can manage on its own otherwise you know we don't have to keep switching directions and they you know it kind of 
forces us or tricks us to switch to long and then keeps going down short you know and it's a low leverage 3x so i can go up to 2000 before i get liquidated right but most likely i'll take a loss uh at about maybe i don't know 1500 i think or 10 percent of this wallet if it was like sideways and five percent of my wallet if it's you know really bull running uh up, okay for the day so that's my criteria so otherwise you know i can handle all the big ups and downs no biggie uh no big deal i think i, I think i was able to handle some of this stuff here no actually it was hit this little move right here this going up a little bit handle that didn't wake me out this a little kind of hurt a little bit, but it was all good. Took positions and then kept shorting down. And all the while, I was just kind of pick up a few bucks here and there. And you know, after a while, it does add up quite a bit. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll talk to you soon. I'm going to be leaving for our trip in, on Saturday, and I will try to maybe post some videos of of my trip and what I see. And uh, other than that, uh, I'll try to do as much as I can on the road. So I'll talk to you then.